Hi, I'm Kylie Hansen, an incoming freshman at MIT who got accepted into Harvard, Stanford, MIT, and Caltech. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about a National Science Bowl. Um, I participated in it 2016 and 2017. And um, I'll tell you guys all about it, how to get into it, what it is, that kind of thing, um, how it can help you. And that's what this video is about. Let's go. So what is National Science Bowl? Well, National Science Bowl is kind of a, um, a select portion of something called Quiz Bowl that only has to do with science and math and STEM in general. So basically what Quiz Bowl is, is you'll have a bunch of questions that are read to you by a monitor. And um, you and your team have to buzz in as quickly as possible. Like you have these little contraptions in front of you that have a button on it. And if you press it the fastest, then you get to answer that question. And if you answer it right, you get points. And sometimes if you answer it wrong, depending on the rules, you can have points taken away, that kind of thing. So that's the premise behind Quiz Bowl. And basically, National Science Bowl only does the math, science, and energy, those kinds of questions from that. And so um, basically, that's what it is. Now, how do you get involved with it? So your, your school has to have a team. And basically, your team has to participate in one of the qualifying um, quiz bowl tournaments in your state. And so for me, I grew up in Idaho. And Idaho has like two different, two or three different qualifying tournaments. I think there's two. Yeah, two. And so I went to the eastern one, um, the eastern qualifying tournament with my team from my high school and we competed and we took first um, those two years that I mentioned before and so I managed to um, be a part of the team that went to the tournaments my sophomore and junior year yeah so those two years were the years that we qualified and basically it was a really fun experience because um, it's a really challenging one. So if you like challenges, then it's totally the thing for you. It's very intense because you have to answer the questions the fastest and um, it really tests your knowledge. So it's a lot of fun to study for it beforehand if you like that kind of thing. And um, if you happen to find a question that you know and you buzz in, it's like, yes, I got it right. You know, it's one of the best feelings in the world in my opinion. And so that's why it's really fun for me at least. And um, next I'll go over some tips on how to do good at it. Since National Science Bowl is basically um, testing your knowledge as well as your speed of recalling that knowledge, um, the best way to study for it is to have each member of your team specialize in something, some specific aspect of um, the topics that you're going into. So like my team had a biology expert, we had a math expert, we had a chemistry expert, um, physics, that kind of thing. And um, from then, that person can study all they can about that subject and then become very good at it. And so then you'll have the most um, chances at covering all of the bases that you have. And so, for example, I covered um, the earth science aspect of my team, some of the physics and some of the energy, things like that. And um, because I think the rules is you, only, you have like four people at a time. Yeah, you have four people on your team who participate at one time. Because there's only four, you can't cover all the bases at once. So you have to have people overlap um, like that. That's why I didn't specialize in just one thing. So that's the number one tip on how to study and become better at it. <coughs> and um, from there, it's just practice. So my team had practice once or twice every week. We had mini tournaments on weekends where we competed with schools from other, a team for, teams from other schools. And so just practicing, getting faster, knowing when to buzz in, when you're unsure and when not to, so that you don't lose points. That's also very important. You have to build that judgment and know that sometimes you get questions wrong, but if you get the majority of them right, then you're obviously going positive. So that's good too. So what was the experience like? So National Science Bowl, basically your team is flown out by the um, DOE, the Department of Energy, to uh, the 4-H Center near Washington, D.C. So the tournament's in Washington, D.C., but you don't stay directly in it. Um, you stay at a 4-H Center somewhere. I don't remember where it is exactly. But basically, um, you're, you're given some rooms and some roommates, and the 
um, rooms are gender specific. So if your team's made up of boys and girls, the boys will be given one room and the girls will be given another. And there's like up to three, I think, three or four people in a room. And so sometimes you'll be rooming with people from other teams, which is cool. You don't usually hang out with them a lot, like I didn't with any of the random people who were in my room with me. But besides from that, um, the whole experience, you get to meet a lot of people. Like, you always eat dinner in the same room. There's a cafeteria in the 4-H Center that you always eat dinner and other meals at, like lunch and stuff. And besides from rooming there, they give you a lot of different opportunities to do stuff in Washington, D.C. Like, they book a bunch of tours, a night tour, actually. And you get on these buses and go with your team to the night tour around the different monuments and things like that. First year I went, it was really great. The second year it was raining, so it was kind of, kind of crappy. Um, wasn't as fun. You also get to go to the Smithsonian's. There's like a day where you spend out in the Smithsonian's. Um, I went to the Air, Air and Space one, obviously. Um, natural history, um, things like that. So the Smithsonian's are always really cool because they're huge museums. And so um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I think one year my team went out and walked to the Capitol from the Smithsonian's. So that was pretty cool too. Um, I think the 2017 year that I went, there was also the climate march going on there. So we got to walk through the huge climate march there, which was really fun in my opinion. Um, my coach didn't really appreciate it, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's what National Science Bowl is about. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments or contact me in some way. Um, I think the DOE has some uh, quiz bowl problems and things like that that are typical that they'll ask you. So if you're interested in that kind of thing and looking into if you'll be good at it, then you can look up videos of people doing it or those practice problems and see if you are interested in that kind of thing. But all in all, it's a very exciting and very educational and fun experience, at least it was for me. So I'd recommend you check it out. Well, uh, I'll see you next week. Next week. Um, bye.